Welcome, what's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here with episode 3 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today is an episode where we're going to absolutely pay off this debt. I don't even care because we got the secrets to getting mass money in the game. Yes, trust me. Uh, I've got a tutorial video already uploading in the background. It'll be available after the live stream. You guys can learn everything about it. But if you guys have watched anything from me in Animal Crossing, you guys already know how to make big money. So here we go. So uh, as you guys can see, it is currently nighttime. And we may have some surprises on today's episode that I hope that you guys are going to be looking forward to. So anyway, thanks so much for being here. We haven't shown nighttime yet. So hopefully something is cool that can happen. I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for coming. In case you guys did not already see, we are doing tons of Animal Crossing content on my channel. You guys can see the channel right over here. Lots of stuff happening. So we got episode one, episode two, episode three, and then I do have a current shelf right over this way dedicated to tips and tricks tutorial videos. I made a bite-sized video of the fastest way to earn Nook Mile so that you guys can have the perfect start in Animal Crossing, so get, uh, make sure you guys take a look at that. And then I do have my Bells tutorial coming out a little bit later on, so I hope you guys enjoy that. So, uh, if you guys didn't already subscribe, make sure you guys do so. You guys can click on the Join button to become a member of my channel, and uh, we're going to be adding members and inviting you guys into town. It's going to be so much fun, so make sure you guys are on board. So thanks for coming. All right, without further ado, let's jump into it. Thank you for all being here. I hope you guys uh, have been enjoying this. Please, hands up in the comments if you have seen the previous episodes. Let's go. Hello, Marie, hi, how do you become a member? Oh, dang. Yeah, you just hit that join button on the main channel page, and of course, you can uh, click the link in the description too. All right, I'd like to share a little info that might improve your quality of life here on the island. Folks with that, I'm gonna be stylish. Uh, okay, want a closet or wardrobe? Okay, so I don't honestly care about a closet or a wardrobe. Not right now. I'm really all about, I'm really all about fossils. I'm about bugs, fish. I'm about making bells. I don't really care about the town yet. I'll I'll get the town going, trust me, but I need to I need to do a couple things first. And we have priorities, so let's do some priorities. All right. So, as we can see over here, we've got some stuff. I did dig out a gold nugget. It's awesome. We got 90,000 bells. We got a lot of things over here. So, if you guys know anything about Animal Crossing or have been following me, you guys know that uh, you gotta make your money rock happen at first. Like, that's your first thing. So, Happy Home Academy's out here. I don't really care about this. Like, it doesn't really matter to me. Mom comes out here, great, awesome, thanks for that. But it doesn't matter. So, let's go on a spree where we can go make some money, shall we? All right, we're gonna go money rock. Since it's the brand new dawn of a new day, we're gonna jump on board. And uh, I've got this little method of using a little, like a pattern on the ground. And the pattern on the ground kind of shows me where exactly I need to dig in order to back myself up into this money rock. So yeah, so today's gonna be a good day. Absolutely. Let's see if there's gonna be any wild bugs that are gonna be at nighttime that are exclusive. Because in the first two episodes, we only showed the, um, the daytime, which was okay. I mean, it was fine. Nothing really too crazy about that, but anyway. All right, digging up a big fossil, let's go. All right, so we got a fossil over there. We are gonna keep our eyes peeled for stuff like this. Or should I say stuff like this? Yeah, I bet you didn't see that, huh? Getting your eyes peeled. Okay, we're picking up branches because we always need those. And then right on board is another. So that's three fossils. I wanna find out exactly how many fossils are in a specific town at any given day. I wanna say the number is five. I have a, an inkling that the number is gonna be five, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, facing this way. Hopefully the shovel doesn't break on me. That's the money rock, and that's like a centipede. What do I do? Do I get the centipede or do I keep on getting the money? What would you do? Get both. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? No! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it faded into nothing. Well, you know what? As, as long as we got the money. As long as we got the money, that's really all I care about. So, whoa, double 8,000? No, I was going to say double 8,000. Yeah, right. So here's 8,000. Here, oh dang, you can go you can go six digits up here. I didn't realize that. Dang, did not realize that you can do that. So that was good. Dang, we missed that centipede. That's a brand new specimen too. 
So pretty upset about that, but you know what? We got fifteen thousand dollars. We're fine. I'm sure another centipede will will come out. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, like priorities, though, right? Like you really have to do it. So centipede was relatively rare. It's my first time that I saw it, so we'll have to find out. Anyway, so we need as many iron nuggets as we can get. That is our third rock. And see, look, at the same time, when you begin a day, you go through, you find your, your money rocks, you're supposed to be hitting all five of the rocks that are available so that you don't miss out on any of the um, any of the ore or the materials. And look at that over there. What are we gonna do with that? Oh, Marie, hey, you figured out membership. Thanks so much. Everyone, welcome Marie to the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll have you guys in the comments. Marie, hello, welcome to it. Thanks so much for coming. All right, that's a good spot right there. I like that spot. We'll drop a thousand bells in it. All right, here we go. We're gonna jump across. Ooh, wee. All right, so now taking a look. Hey, Crestnaut coming on board. We got a little member train over here. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I uh, love the fact that you guys are helping out with that. So everyone, welcome, Crestnaut. Okay. So remember, whenever you see the one spot of light on the ground, you have a couple options of what you want to do with it. Uh, you can indeed deposit some bells, or you can not. So I think we're going to deposit, I don't know, we'll throw the extra thousand back in there. How about that? Just throw the thousand in, like we didn't, like we didn't see anything. And then now we have a brand new little baby uh, tree. So I'm just going to water it just to make sure it grows, and then we're done with that. So moving on, thank you so much. Uh, let's do shovel out here. And then this is going to be our last rock that we're gonna hit. Now remember, in Animal Crossing, you got a little checklist of things that you wanna do every single day. And this is definitely one of them, hitting all five rocks. Because you never know if you're going to be able to get a golden nugget. And truth be told, I was actually trying to hit this last rock to get another centipede to come out, which is kind of a bummer we didn't get it, but whatever. Right when the money rock happened too, all right, so we got our baby money tree. Our baby money tree is there, and I think it's time to go pay a visit to Tom Nook. Let's go pay this loan. Now remember, I teased paying off the loan in the previous episode. Uh, we did do that, and I couldn't make enough money. I was just out there trying to make money by selling weeds and stuff like that. No, man, you don't make money by selling weeds in this game, no. You go money rock or bust, that's it. That's the only way to make money in this game. See you later, fish. All right, you'll also notice that we do have the museum here. Whoa, and look at all these fossils I've been collecting. Dude, I've been collecting the fossils for you guys. <laughs> so I've been collecting all these fossils so that uh, we can absolutely have a fun time learning about dinosaurs and just overall, like playing the gotcha game. Whoa, what is that? Is that a money tree? Oh, dang. Look, guys. Yo, that was our 10k money tree. Yo, we got it. I'm not going to shake it. Absolutely not. No way. Not in a million years I'm going to shake that. You're crazy. Because the money's going to fall off. I don't know if the money grows back. Aurora Lunaris. Welcome. Welcome to it. Oh, man. All right. You know what? Let's put this away. And let's go. Yo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the money grows back or if it doesn't grow back. Now, you guys can think you know the answer from the previous Animal Crossing games, but remember, this is uncharted territory. We don't know. I could shake it, but we'll see. All right, so look, they're all on the inside. What are you doing here? All right, welcome, how can you help? Here, I want to sell. Uh, I wanna sell some stuff that I've been kind of holding on to, like these weeds here. And I definitely don't need a whiteboard, and I don't need the weeds, and I don't need this wasp nest. And I think I'm good. Okay, I'm confirming that. All right, so I'm gonna sell those things. They've been in my pocket for a little bit. It's a thousand bells, whatever, I'll take it. It's chump change compared to 15K bells in a split second. So anyway, here we go. I'm ready to pit's loan. All right, uh, let's hold a ceremony for what? I'm sorry. You wanna, yeah, you wanna take part in the ceremony? Right now, I'd like to celebrate the grand opening of our museum. Interested? Oh, yeah, sure, let's go. Splendid. Let's get started. Was not expecting to do a ceremony, or at least hold one. That's interesting. 
There's a tree in the way. I can't really see that sheep. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring A Nation's brand new museum. I haven't stepped foot in it yet. I'm saving it for you guys. Thank you! A Nation truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone, really. And now that uh, I think we need to hear a few words from Blathers, <laughs> a few words, yeah, right. We'll be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours. Residents of A Nation, once again, I'm Blathers, your humble museum curator. I'm overwhelmed, indeed overjoyed, by the marvelous establishment we're opening here today. This could not have been done without you and your considerable cooperation. I only hope that this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of all species continues to inspire all. It surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brimming with wonder. I say I do hope you continue supporting the museum's efforts. All right, cool. That wasn't very short, but whatever. All right, thanks for that rousing speech, Blathers. Now let's have a few words from someone uh, whose contribution made it possible. Me. Anything you want to add? Uh, woo! Everyone, woo in the comments, right? <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there. Uh, everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should, uh, re should get ready to press the screen cap button. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and uh, to celebrate A Nation's beautiful museum... Hooray! Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. So, that's great. We held a little ceremony. It's open. But, that's not what we came there for. We came, we came there to pay a loan. We got the money in hand. Uh, big woos in the comments. Good job. Alright, here we go. Big woos in the comments. Hello. Uh, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? Uh, about my home. Okay, let's see. You have an outstanding loan balance. Oh, so you gotta go to the Nook Stop to pay it. Okay, right over here. No worries. So here we go. Nook Stop. Once a day. Accessing. Bah. Oh, very nice. Okay. So here we go. Following services. Redeem Nook Miles, Nook Shopping, or Automatic Bell Depositor. So I'm going to do a loan payment. We're gonna go pay from pockets and we're gonna go all of it. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of nines. There we go. Or you could click on full amount. That's pretty convenient. Thank you for using this service. Yeah, yes. I finished paying off my home loan. Yeah, dude. Well, hello there, Abdallah. As always, I must offer my hearty congratulations. You paid off your loan in full. I expected nothing less of, or, of course, but occasions like these are cause for celebration. I suppose they're a good time to take stock and reflect. I'm sure your home is quite comfy in the current configuration, but what if it could be bigger? Oh, I assure you that it can be bigger. Okay, so predictions in the comments. How much is this next loan going to cost us? 150, Jess says? Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe 200? 150 does sound pretty good, though. Dang. Okay, here we go. I want a bigger house. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, making the room larger. 198! Dang! 198. A lot of people guessed 198. I saw that. 198k bells. Yeah, let's do it. Wonderful. I'm so happy for you. I'm going to make the construction begin. Uh, make sure it begins right away. Oh, it occurs to me. This might be a good time to consider a new color for your roof. No, I'm good. Uh, I guess I'll continue with the blue. Like, I didn't even live in this house, to be honest. I just woke up in it a couple times. There's really nothing inside, trust me. I'm not here to decorate that. All right, so now that means that the next time that we start up the game, on a brand new day, I'll have a new house. Which is cool, right? Anyway, we got loads of things that we gotta go donate to Blathers. Like, tons. Like, literally tons. So, I think we're gonna go do that, uh, unless, actually, I've got a, I got a better idea. Now, remember, Timmy and Tommy, Timmy and Tommy wanted a bigger store, and since they asked for it, I figured we might as well deliver, right? Remember, we need some ore, I'm going to move to pockets, and they needed all sorts of wood. I think it was 30, 30, 30 of everything, so let's see what's going on. Move to pockets. Yeah, I think it was 30 of iron nuggets, uh, wood, and the other woods. I don't know, but I'm just going to take it all. Softwood 
and then regular wood. Okay, so just making sure that we have everything for Timmy and Tommy. I got 30 wood. I need one more hardwood, and then I should be all set. So let's go chop a little bit of hardwood, and we should be set and ready to give it to Timmy and Tommy. Now, if you guys are curious of how to farm the different types of wood, all you have to do is... Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, what is that on the floor? You guys see that? What is that? Ew! Got it! Oh, I have no idea what the heck that was. I caught a tiger beetle? I pounce first. Okay, anyway. That was great. I was not expecting that. All right. So, uh, what I was saying was all you have to do is uh, make a flimsy axe and just chop at some trees. And there we go. That's our dark wood that we needed. We're all set. So, in our inventory, we should have 30 of each. Uh, 30 softwood, 30 regular wood, 30 hardwood, and then 30 iron nuggets. And remember, iron nuggets were gotten from whenever we hit the rocks with an axe or a shovel, whatever you name it, that's where the iron nuggets come out. And they're a little bit more rare than the clay or the other things. So anyway, so we're gonna talk to Timmy over here. I wanna build a shop. Right now we're asking for residents uh, for their help in donating materials. Okay, I'd like to donate. You make a donation, here we go. Let's see, you brought in. You brought in everything we needed all at once. Are you really going to provide all four kinds of materials right now? These are for you, my young child. Super cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I like him and his brother. Oh my goodness, that means we have everything needed to get started on our shop. As a thank you, please take some embellished denim pants, a layered tank, and a clothesline pole. Well, I mean, if he's gonna give me a new pair of pants, that's cool. One more thing. Since we have all the materials we need and can start construction on the shop, we'd like you, a key figure, in making this happen to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Okay. Place that shop construction kit wherever you like and we'll get started on construction. Okay, so this is interesting. Now I'm going to go find a, a spot for the shop. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, I kind of wanted the shop to be over here, right? Like I was gonna make like a whole orchard in this section with like all the different fruit trees. I was gonna put like an orchard over there, but um, yeah, I'm kind of trying to, I'm trying to think. I guess that's a good spot for it. Okay, here, check this out. I need to hit this, grab some fruit. I think that spot directly behind guest services is going to be perfect. And I'm gonna build a bridge, don't you worry about it. I'll build a bridge. But I think this spot is perfect, like right here. But I do need to move these cherry trees just in case. So I'm gonna eat one, and I'm gonna eat two. And then I'm going to grab my shovel, and I'm gonna remove my cherry trees. Yeah! Oh, dang, it broke. Okay, that's fine. Good. Because if I started hitting a money rock with that broken shovel, that would have been bad news bears. All right, here we go. And then here's number two. Okay, beautiful. Okay. I'm breaking all of my stuff here. Excellent. All right, here we go. You can kick that little hole there, of course, because we don't leave empty holes in the house. Oh, look at this one. Dang. All right, I needed that. Sorry. So I'm going to eat another one. All right, we're going to eat. Didn't realize that there's so many cherry trees over here. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this, and this probably insta-breaks it, I'm kind of thinking. Oh no, it didn't instant break it. Okay, well, that's good, good to know. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go shop construction kit. Uh, should this spot re be reserved for the shop? No, I'm gonna push it all the way towards the back. I need to rethink it. Or maybe I should just put it there. No, it needs to be more towards the back, I feel. Check this out. Okay, so let's build here. And then let's uh, let's imagine what it looks like. Okay, Nook's credit. That looks great. Um, But I want to... Mm, yeah, you know, I can terraform that in the back. You know what? I think it's a good, it's a good spot. Here we go. So we got the brand new Nook's Cranny. That's going to be available. It's where the shop goes. That's right. Cool. All right, well, I guess I didn't need to grab those cherry trees, but uh, now that I have them, we're good to go. All right, so now that we're here, we're gonna vault across. 
Now remember, we did get some new clothes, so we might as well put it on, right? Here's a layered tank. I'm gonna wear it. Alright, that's nice and all. Uh, we got some new jeans. Embellished denim pants. Alright, wow, that look is- that looks terrible. I'm sorry, but we're not- We're totally not gonna wear those. I'm gonna wear jeans. I don't think so. Gingham picnic shirt. Sorry, this is way better. Lumberjack style is way better than that other stuff. We're gonna sell that right to him, and he's gonna pay me for it. How awkward is that, right? <laughs> he gives you a present? And then you straight sell it back to him one day. What a guy, right? What a guy. All right, no worries. Okay, so we got some work to do. I got some cherry trees I do want to kind of put around somewhere. I can put like a little cherry orchard over here. This is kind of what I was thinking, like right over here. But I wanted, I want it to be like a little bit more. I want to be able to customize where the trees go. Like I just don't want it to just, you know, pop up like that. But, whatever. I wonder. I wonder if that cherry tree... I wonder if the cherry trees can actually die, too. Because I remember in Animal Crossing New Leaf, if two trees were, like, too close to each other, they wouldn't thrive, and one of them would, like, fall uh, to pieces, so... Alright, well, a couple things first. Priorities is I gotta make a quick shovel. So, let's craft. I think I may have enough for a shovel. No, I don't. I need hardwood. Forget that. Okay, fine. Forget it. Let's go deposit all of our material inside our storage. Then we're gonna go visit Blathers, and then we're gonna give him all the bugs, and we're gonna go take a tour of the museum. And we're gonna call it Night at the Museum, because it's nighttime. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm so clever. All right, here we go. Oops, that's the wrong thing. We're gonna put in storage. Put in storage, put in storage. I don't need wood. Tree branch is done. Here's that. Uh, gold is going to be in storage. This clothing is uh, I'm probably not going to use it. So I'm probably going to sell that. Picking this up. And one more hardwood in storage. Done. Okay. I think we're good. Here we go. All right, Blathers, you ready? I've got so many bugs I've been stockpiling. And so many other cool things, right? And fossils. Everything. So all of these over here are just brand new specimens that have just been chilling outside. No one's been stealing it because it's a deserted island. What do you expect? And then these are all my fossils, which is a fun time, so. Yo, money trees, though? Money trees. All right. Wow, look at this. Okay, okay, here we are. So I got bugs. I know you like bugs, Blathers. Okay. Open the doors, tremendous achievement, great. Allow me to give you a quick overview. All right, entrances to the left in the basement. Exhibit rooms, oh, now remember, when I played Animal Crossing New Horizons at PAX, Nintendo wouldn't let me even go into the third rooms of each of these fossil fish or bugs. They wouldn't even let me see what the third rooms look like. Like literally, if I were to walk in that direction, they would take the controller away from me and say, look, we can't show that to you. So that's some top secret stuff. What do you guys think? Should we go take a look at all three of those rooms and see what it looks like? Or should we just not? I can give all of these bugs to him. Whoa, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Splendid, we'll gladly take these off your hands. No need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. That's it, so that's great. Um, so we're done. So that's great. So I didn't have to sit through Blathers talking and talking about every single one of these species, which is kind of annoying. So the bugs, he can do that really easily. Ew! Hold on, these bugs are all over the place. Yo, Blathers. Yo, Blathers, though. Is this the same thing? A tiger beetle? Okay, so I wonder. Maybe the, these beetles just come out at night. Okay, another tiger beetle. Interesting. All right, well, we got tons of fossils ready, and we got two tiger beetles, so let's let's do this. Let's go fossils, man. Here we go. Here we go. Now, all these fossils are pretty much from your daily fossil allowance that spawn out. I don't know if it's three, four, or even five. I would really have to fine-tooth comb my town in one singular day to give you a can confirm this is how many uh, happen, but I know it's at least three. 
which is fun. And it's a gotcha game now. Now we play the gotcha elements of Animal Crossing. Before you even knew it was a gotcha game. Before you even knew Animal Crossing is straight a gotcha game. Look at this. It's just like uh, Yokai Watch. This is a Cranky Kai. All right, this is the Cranky Kai. Here we go. The Cranky Kai. These are all my Cranky Kai coins. Any Yokai Watch fans out there? All right, so that's it. That's at least 10. Here's 10 fossils. Enjoy. Oh, more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. All right. Found something that is not yet part of our collection. All right, here we go. Okay, so he's going to return them, and they're all going to be assessed, and then I'm going to make a donation on them. Here we go. So this is great. Look, every single... Oh, I got a double right here. Dang. Okay, so we're going to do Terabody. Oh, this is a beautiful thing. Look at this. You don't have to tell me all about these. I just have them all. But see, here's the thing. Like, I have to know. I have to know what I have. And that kind of me quick memorization is not going to happen with me. So that I'm on the lookout for this stuff, right? Or it's just like, hey, if it's grayed out, then I don't have it. Or I, then I do have it already. Spino Skull, Stego, Diplo, Amber, Ankylo, Brachio, Spino. There's just so much that's just there. And we're not about to do a lesson at all. So here we go. We're just going to donate them all. And then we just go from there. Although, it does kind of make it a little a little sad, right? I was expecting to be here for like at least 15 minutes pressing the A button and learning about stuff. But apparently that's not the case. All right, so jolly good. Uh, that was amazing. So I honestly have given everything um, and I've got some doubles left over. So Terabody, I guess I can hold on to them in case you guys need, uh, in case you guys need some of these rather than sell them. Why would I sell them? This is valuable to someone. All right, anyone need an uh, anomalo, uh, anomalo Karis? You let me know, I got you covered. All right, you guys ready to see the secret rooms that Nintendo said, you cannot go in these rooms. Like, it's not, oh yeah, you can go in the rooms, but just make sure you don't show them in a video. It's like, yo, you can't even see these rooms. Please go the other way, do not go in that room. <laughs> and I said, what's that over there? All right, anyway, so this is the bug area. So pretty great, uh, very empty. I don't have a lot of bugs. But that's okay. We'll get we'll get bugs all in due time. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. Maybe a yellow butterfly. I see it. Cool. And then there's this. Okay, this was I think that up there was the secret room. Yes, it was. You guys saw my direct capture footage. Hints up in the comments if you saw that. My direct capture footage of Animal Crossing New Horizons before the game came out. I think I showed you this room and I showed you that in it, but we didn't see the third one. Yeah, so I've shown you this, exactly. So here's another butterfly area. You can sit over here. You can take a nice picture if you want. And uh, here we go. This was like, oh, and then I said, hey, what's up in here? And she's like, no, don't go there. And I said, why not? And she's like, no, you, you can't see that. And we're gonna go see it right now. 2,000 of you guys seeing it for the first time. I don't know what this is. Oh, cool. There's a tin can. A pill bug. I don't even see it. Oh, cool. Look. It's just like an actual museum. Wow. All right. That looks great. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So this is maybe where the tarantula and scorpion go. Nice. And then what's up here? A little lunchroom. Oh, cocoons and butterflies. And this is ants. This has got to be like an ant display. Oh, man. I need ants, dude. Look at this! A paper kite butterfly. Look! Little cocoons! Oh man, that's so awesome. And you can sit? Can you sit? You can't sit. But that's still actually really cool. This is the best room. Because it's not just, hey, here's museum exhibits. No, this is a little area where you can sit down, there's storage. It's so realistic. I think that's really awesome. Truly. That was the best room out of all of them. Truly the best room out of all of them. What did you... Oh my gosh, there's this ugly thing. What in the world is that called? It was like a stink bug or something? Bagworm? Ew. Like a yo-yo. Okay, here we go. What do you guys want to see? Dinosaurs? 
Or do you guys want to see the fish? Dinosaurs or fish, let me know in the comments, and then we'll go there. But I don't see artwork, guys. Artwork is not a thing. And no extra storage for rooms, like in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Okay, so let's see. Uh, dinosaurs or fish, dinos, fish, dinos. Let's do... Everyone wants dinosaurs. All right, we're going to go do dinosaurs. I think it's a majority rules here. All of you guys watching. All right, here we go. So dinosaurs. Now remember, again, I showed you guys two rooms. This first room, which is like the, the, the branch of life and like how evolution and all that stuff happened. Uh, so we do have a whole bunch of these, which is really cool. I mean, I'm not going to click on all of them. Um, then the next room is the meteor in the back room. Remember we saw that? I showed you guys that in my, in my custom video. Uh, so yeah, and then whenever you see like a little blue spot on the floor, you can press the, or you can just stand on it, and then it shows exactly what's out here. So we got a lot of dinosaurs already. You can see this. Like, we got a lot of fossils. It was great. So fossils are there. Now, here was the room that I was not allowed to go in. I, nope, absolutely not. Look at this. Whoa, is that when the meteorites strike down? Wow, the Big Bang, huh? Or when that's not Big Bang, that's the, the way the dinosaurs got extinct. Here we go, so then this one shows another little exhibit. Kinda cool, whenever you stand on those little blue circles. And there may not be another blue circle. I think that was it, just three little uh, camera changes. So that's kinda cute. It's kinda cute. All right, here we go. The room I was not able to look at. Debuting right here. Dun, 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 dun. I haven't seen this either. Oh, dang. Oh, check that out. Whoa, what's that? Oh, look at this. Look at, th oh, oh, look. This is, okay. Okay, so this is saying, hey, this is where, you know, humans are at. And you could stand right here in that spot and there's their little skull. And you could see monkeys and then rats, and then bunnies, and then deer, and cows, and rhinos, and pigs, and another rhino, and Gracie, Tom Nook, uh, Goldie, Rover, Anteater, Elephant, Kangaroo, Koala, Bird. All right, what's over here? I haven't seen this either. Or have I? No, that's where I came from. Okay, never mind. So there's an up uh, upstairs area, and then there's a downstairs. Okay, so that's cool. Really interesting. How everything's somehow connected, am I right? All right, moving on. Okay, so that was dinosaurs. We're gonna go take a look at fish. Now remember, there's three rooms in every single one of these. I've seen two of them. I've not seen the third one, so I'm very exciting. Uh, I'm excited to see that. All right, so very first room. Oh, remember that fish that we caught? How many of you guys remember? Where did we see that fish? Where did we find him? The sturgeon. Where did we find the sturgeon general's warning? Yeah, here we go. So look at this. And then we got like little ponds here. You can uh, you can just chill and like the camera automatically like bird's eye view. That's pretty cool. That's right. You guys remember we did see it on the island and look. I don't have anything here, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna get it. You guys have been paying attention to the previous episodes. I'm so happy for you guys, thanks. All right, so here we go. We've seen this before. I think I gave you a quick rundown of what this looks like. Uh, I don't have too much in here. I just have one little baby fish. This has an extended exhibit on the right side. And I'm very curious of like, okay, so it's a fish exhibit, but what the heck is gonna go right over here, by, uh, right by these things? No clue. We're gonna find it though, you better believe it. And I got no fish over here, that's fine. I mean, I only caught a small handful. You guys can take a look at my Critterpedia. And then you can kind of look through the glass. Hey, and then the sharks should swim around by if you had any. I got one little lonely fish over there. All right, so this is gonna be the secret area which uh, Nintendo did not allow me to show you guys. And we're gonna show it to you guys Roy about now. Super fun, man. I love the museum. The museum's the best. Whoa. What is this? Okay. Oh, there's that olive flounder. Wait, am I going in it? Oh, dude, yeah, right. 
Oh man, how many guys have been to an aquarium and they do something like this too? Where like you go inside this domed glass area and the fish are like above you and below you and it kind of simulates you being underwater. That's real cool design. Oh man, and what is that? What? I have no idea what the heck those are. Oh, those are the butterfly fish. Cute. And you can go on top over here too. Wow, that's actually really awesome. And you can see that you're like above it all and you can stand over here and kind of like peer below. Oh my, and it, man. You guys really outdid yourselves here. This was amazing. Truly, I can see why they wanted to keep this one spot a secret from everyone because this is clearly the best spot. Oh, absolutely. All right, you guys know what we need to do, right? We need to straight go fishing. Like, we need to do that. I need to get fish. That's just what it has to be. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the, that's the night at the museum. I'm a little bummed out that paintings aren't here. But, I mean, if you think about it, do you really want to go and deal with Crazy Red for, a, what, a fifth generation? Do you really want to deal with him again with the same Mona Lisa, the same flower painting, the same pointillism painting that we've had 17 years ago? Did you really want to do that? Let me know in the comments, yes or no. I honestly, um, I mean, look, we can't rule it out. Keep in mind, the beauty about Animal Crossing New Horizons is the fact that it's on Nintendo Switch and Nintendo can easily patch that in as an update. Or better yet, DLC in the future. Yo, I'll pay $20 for it, whatever. I'll pay $20 for it for to enable Crazy Red and more storage upstairs. Maybe a couple showrooms that you can make. Dude, I'd do it in a heartbeat. So whatever you see over here in the game, just take it at face value, right? Take it at face value for what it is. But there's always a chance that we can absolutely get something, um, get something uh, additional to that. So I'm gonna go home. I'm going to drop off my dinosaur bones inside my storage area so that in case one of you guys needs one of these things, I can easily give it to you and say, hey, I don't need these. And it's, it's silly to sell them because you don't wanna, you don't wanna sell these things. No, absolutely not. All right, so let's see. Housewares miscellaneous wallpaper. Oh, and it auto, it auto does it. Okay, I mean. I was gonna say it's I guess it's under other uh, and then sort alphabetical oh so okay so yeah it's nested in there all right uh, well let's take a look at our nook miles I'm sure we have a whole bunch of nook miles that we haven't messed around with I mean I don't care about the dailies I honestly don't because I don't need nook miles right now in life because self root okay yeah for 300 nook miles no thanks I'm good the game is trying to tell me what to do and I'm okay without the game telling me what to do um, but you guys can play that way, absolutely. If you guys want to do the dailies for double nook points, go for it. I'm more along the lines of like, yo, let's go to the next day and see what things we can find. Um, I'm not going to be wasting time. Oh, go sell this amount of fruit. No thanks, I'm good. All right, so this one's good things in store. Uh, yeah, the number of items you have in storage. Okay, that's pretty easy if you store. These are just achievements, so whatever. I mean, not really that interested in it. No more loan payments. Yeah. Thank you for doing business. A thousand. Okay. So I'm curious. Now that I've got about like a good chunk of Nook Miles in the game, I wonder what happens uh, based on the number of active days you play. Self-paced? That's right. I'm at my own self-paced for this game. I'm wondering, do you unlock better things in the Nook shop? If you pay off your loan, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's gotta be some sort of caveat or some sort of requirement that allows you. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God, it's coming. Help. Oh my gosh. No, oh my gosh, I died. Oh my gosh. He was, he was yo fangs out. He was fangs out. I didn't know how to respond to that. Oh my gosh, wow, dude, that's so scary. Oh my, I legit, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of spiders. Not as, not as scary as sharks, but dude, that was so scary. I'm like legit dead over here. My throat hurts from that. <laughs> Sorry, all you guys.
with headphones on as usual. Anywho, that was so scary. A message in a bottle. Oh, look at this. Remember my palm trees? Heck yeah, dude. All right, so I'm gonna go grab my palm trees. Um, I might as well, right? Like, I can come bearing fruit. Like, you want some of these? I got them, dude. You want them? I got them. Let's go, shovel. I wanted a tarantula too. I'm so upset. Odds are I'm not gonna go back to nighttime, you know? Odds are I'm really not gonna go back to nighttime. Oh, there's a little muscle. Hold on, hold on. Is this something that I could donate to the museum? A manila clam. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I, uh, could be used as fishing bait. I mean, I don't really need fishing bait, but I want to go donate that thing. And that's, what is that? I don't think I have that moth. Yes, I caught a moth and I had a ball doing it. Mm, I guess because of moth balls. Dude, these puns are weak this generation. Am I the only one that thinks that? I haven't gotten a really good chortle out of any of these puns yet. That's a little bit too close. I'm gonna go... I just... I mean, I wanna, I wanna plant these things. Yeah, this will be fine. Was that the same spot? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna plant some trees. We gotta make it tropical, right? Everyone wants, like, a more tropical island. Alright, so we got a lot of... See, the coconut trees that we took from the island are now here, which is great. Allows us to take this. And allows us to uh, make even more coconut trees happen. So let's do it. Alright, this is a beautiful spot for a coconut tree. Done and done. We're going to plant that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This one's a good spot. Oh, it's a little too close to the water. I'm gonna go kind of right here. Beautiful. Yeah, we gotta make a tropical paradise, right? It is a deserted tropical island. And how about right here? Perfect. Directly in the middle. Look at how flawless that is. Excellent. So now we've got a whole bunch of uh, different trees that are going to come over here. So this is someone DIY recipe for a mossy garden rock. Okay, whatever. Okay, awesome, awesome. So next, uh, what else are we doing? I don't really care about cherries right now. Not really something I want to waste my time with. Don't care about the sheep person. I don't want to do that. I guess I can go over and see if there's anything on the other side. I kind of really want to confirm how many different um, fossils we can get in a specific day. But anyway, we'll see what's up. There's a lot of weeds, man. I just got to weed this town. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm good for the day. I don't think there's anything that's a daily task that I have to do. I hit all of all five of my rocks. I mean, I got that money tree that I can shake it for science. I can shake that money tree for science. And then tomorrow we're going to get, I don't know where I'm. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to see what happens, though, right? A money tree, dude? I put 10,000 in that. All right, what do you guys say in the comments? Should we leave the money tree for an awesome swag decoration? Like a big flex decoration? Or should I shake it and then see if it grows the money back? What do you guys think? You let me know in the comments and we'll do it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go donate the two bugs uh, while you guys are voting in the comments right now. And then uh, I'll switch the day to tomorrow, and then we're out of here. And we can go try again for the day. A lot of you guys want to shake it. Nobody says leave it. A couple people say leave it. All right, so here we go. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Well, here we go. A moth. Enjoy the moth, guy. No, I don't want to learn more. Just take it. Thank you. 
Okay, so the Critterpedia is one of the things that I haven't really talked to you guys about, and I didn't really show it. So I'll show you guys where I'm at on my Critterpedia. So we're over here with the Critterpedia. I have, oh wow, oh my. Hold on, hold on, what? How far does it go? Display pictures. Okay, you know what, that's not bad. This is how big the crit, oh. Yo! That's all the bugs, did you guys count that? What's the difference? A hundred! Dude, are you crazy? No way, man. It's a lot of bugs. Wow, fish. And probably the equal amount of fish, if not more. That's ridiculous. That's a lot. Alright, anyway, you guys ready? We're gonna shake it. We're gonna shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your tree. Shake your tree. All right, here we go. All right, get ready, because I'm going to shake the tree. This is the tree you wanted me to shake, right? All right, we shook it, guys. Thanks so much for voting. All right, glad you all said shook it. Let's get out of here. No, I'm kidding. Ha ha. All right, here we go. Ladies and gents, now, um, this is what happens when, remember, I planted 10,000 bells in a glowing spot. We're going to find out right now. Oh, dang! Oh, dang! Yo! That's awesome! I just tripled my money! Yo, I planted 10,000 in a golden spot, and right out here, I get... I mean, I made an additional 20k. That's great! Oh, man, that's real cool. And then I'm curious of if this specific tree... Um... If this specific tree will grow it back. Wow, wow, how cool was that, huh? All right, so I got a bug, I got some clams. Okay, so a clam is definitely not, um, it's not something that you donate to the museum. It's just like a crafting item. And you can go over here, you can make fish bait with it. I just found it and I guess we're gonna make fish bait. Fish bait is like one time use, it's kind of silly. But I guess, Dang, I should really put 50,000 in a glowing spot. What happens if I put 99k in a glowing spot? <gasps> Whoa! My mind is blown right now. Dude, remember, we had 50k and it gave us the option to grab out a 50k bell bag. Imagine if we did 99k. That loan is as good as ours, but it'll take days in order to reap the benefits. Man! What do you guys think? We should do it? Money trees? All right, here we go. Oh, you're gonna open tomorrow? What do you mean? I I'm here to sell stuff. How can I help you? Oh, yeah, he's just saying that he's gonna open his new store tomorrow. All right, anyway, so here we go. Uh, clump of weeds, bug, another bug. Here's a shirt that you gave me. I don't like it, sorry. And I don't need to sell, yeah, I don't need those embellished denim. And I don't really need fish bait. I just made it for the sake of making it. So here we go, enjoy. Okay, so that's 4,000 bells. That's really good, here we go, sold. I hope the fish bait was like 4,000 bells. All right, guys, I think we're good. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna open this up. I'm gonna take this. What the heck did I just take? A cardboard box, I guess. Well, since I have a cardboard box, I hope I can uh, sell it to you. <laughs> I sold him the shirt that he gave me. What a guy. All right, here we go. We're gonna confirm this. And how much does the cardboard box sell for? 30 bells. Sold. All right, so here we go. We are going to save the game and then we're gonna jump into the next day because we've only been playing for about 50 minutes, but we achieved a lot in this episode. We really did. Um, I achieved tons, tons of things. I kind of want to just shake these trees and not pick them up. Just leave them on the ground so that more of them grow. And then I'm gonna get six, six different cherries every time I do it, right? All right, here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to leave. Hold on, hold on. There's a butterfly on this. <gasps> what is that? Ew, 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 ew. Yuck. Yes. Brand new bug. Yes. I caught a man face stink bug. I guess it does have a man's face. Reminds me of my uncle. I'll miss you again, uncle. I'll miss you again. Reminds me of my uncle? Excuse me? 
Well, it's a road that you go when you die. And that's where Uncle went. He went to Rainbow Road. <laughs> All right, here we go. Enjoy the bug. Don't want to hear about it. It looks like my uncle. Yeah, I get it. I get the jokes, Blathers. I get the jokes, but no, nah, son. All right, I'll miss you again, uncle. I'm out of here. All right. Uh, Free Crexy says, uh, Blathers, Tom Nook, and Tommy reading books is adorable. Oh, absolutely. They're little idle animations. Hard agree on that. Absolutely agree on that. All right, anyway, I think we're ready to go to the next day. I think I've did everything that I kind of want to do today. Of course, you can indeed like pick all the weeds. You can go grab all the cherries off the trees if you really wanted to. Go talk to your villagers once per day. But that's not fun for me. I'm here to see what's gonna happen tomorrow. So let's go see what happens tomorrow, shall we? All right, what happens tomorrow? Let's wrap things up. We're gonna save and end, but don't go anywhere. I'm not ending the stream. We've got at least another 40 minutes or so of just messing around. We could probably do two days worth of stuff just in one sitting. And uh, yeah, let's knock it out. Let's knock it out. I wanna go in the morning. Like noon, you guys cool with noon? Although, nighttime, I could catch another tarantula. Ah, uh, nighttime lighting is just so nasty, though. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I kind of want a shark. I gotta catch it, though. I gotta go fishing. But there's just so many things that I just want to build in the town first. And then once I feel the town is built, then I could just sit back... Sit back, relax, catch bugs, fish, all that stuff. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I want to catch that tarantula big time. I do. What happens if we go, like, super early in the morning? I don't know. All right, here we go. Jumping right back into it. Brand new day means... A new announcement from Nook, and we are going to go hit all five of our rocks really quick. Hello everyone, it's Tom Nook on the 25th. Staff Timmy and Tommy opened up their new shop today. It's a small shop, but they change stock daily and carry a selection of goods. Sure to better your island life. Come by from 8 to 10, and if the store is closed, simply use a drop-off box to sell your items. Ah, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass-marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog. So now then, I hope everyone takes advantage of that. Okay, yeah, let's do the... You guys want to do the ceremony? Give me thumbs up. He gets called. Hello, this is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes, yes, what? What, the getaway package? Why, yes, yes, of course. And that's all for today's island-wide broadcast. Oh. Ah, uh, so sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the... Alright. <laughs> He's just selling these island getaway packages. That's one of you guys who just downloaded the game. Alright. I see a lot of thumbs up in the comments. We'll do the ceremony. I think it's kind of cute. You might as well. Oh, you see what I see? Do you see what I see? To celebrate the new edition of your home, please accept a small gift. You need uh, you'll need convenient electronics. Okay, yeah, give me electronics. What do you got? Daisy May. Who the heck is Daisy May? <gasps> Daisy May. The turnips. Oh, every Sunday morning, Daisy May. I gotta play the stock market, but I can't play the stock market now, guys. I can't play it because none of you guys have this game. But that's my new town. All right, hold on. All right, that's my new house. Let's take a look. I'll give you the tour. And look, I got a brand new ironing set. Pfft. Get out of here. Yo, you guys think what I'm thinking for that little spot right there? 99K bells. I don't think I have enough for it, though. That's pretty wide. It is very wide. And that is an ironing set. Okay. 
on the floor. No, man. Forget that. I'm going to sell that. Thanks, happy home association. All right, man. This is my original money tree. Here's my secondary money tree. I have 43,000. I'm going to put a 50... Sh I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I really want to put a 50K in there. I do, trust me. But at the same time, I guess I could call it for science, right? I guess I could call it for science. Wow, the first one. Don't break. Do not break. First money rock, baby. World record tapper. Yeah, buddy. I mean, I could easily put a 50k bury it over there and then see what's going on. I would make 100k bells off of that. What do you guys think? Worth it? Not worth it. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so count fossils. Count one right now. I don't know if I have... I, that's a tiger butterfly. I've seen that. Pill bug, no good. I could find a gold nugget, man. You never know. I nailed one before. On the last hit, it was a gold nugget. Okay, tons of cherries all over the place. Don't really care about them. Oh yeah, number two. Two. Woo Number two. All right, that's uh, that's our third money rock, but we only have two fossils that we've seen. Now we have to, I do have to comb through here. Oh, our little trees are growing. They are indeed growing. All right, hit me up if you guys see any X marks the spots. I really have to weed this place. Where's Wispat? Ah, and I, and I need a slingshot so badly. There's been at least 10 gifts that flew right up above me and I don't have a slingshot for it, so. No clue how to get it either. It's gotta be some sort of villager recipe, maybe. Maybe I should start talking to my villagers more. Would that be uh, something worth doing? I don't know. Whenever I played Animal Crossing, I rarely cared for the villagers. I just did my own thing and if they were there, then awesome. But right now, it's just like, I don't see any incentive. <laughs> Look at that baby tree right there. What is it? What what kind of tree is that going to be? I don't know. Yo, put 50k bell bags in there? You guys are insane if you want me to do that. It's big science, man. Alright, here we go. This one's gonna be maybe a gold nugget. Or maybe a shovel break. I wonder what we need iron nuggets for. Maybe it's just for more crafting materials? I, okay, you know what? I need that. I need the better crafting materials package. All right, so let's see. What is new in the town of A Nation? Branches, new. Erica Royal, hey. Oh, there's Nook's Cranny. Hello. We do have a lot of new things happening over here. Hello, Erica. How are you? Oh, dang. Timmy has a second page shop in his inventory. Dang. What is this, number four? For fossils? Woo Oof, gone. Right, four? That's three 
Is it three? Yeah, you're right, it's three. Good job. <laughs> three? All right, so before we go into the Tom Nook's uh, little nooking tins, Nook's cranny, I do want to make sure that we have uh, all the fossils kind of available. Kind of sift around over here, keep my eyes peeled. I'm glad we don't have a lot of tall elevation on this island. Really glad. Dang, really just three a day? Oh, look who's here! Guys, 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 look who's here! How many guys know who this is? Come on. Look who washed up on the shore. It's Gulliver! What's up, Gulliver? Right, w w wake up, dude. Ugh, who's at the helm? Just give me five more minutes. This is our first time seeing Gulliver. No, you walk the plank, Ahab. I think you're so smart. Uh, I don't want to be a floatsum. Can I be a jetsum? It just sounds more rugged. Wake up, dude. Sorry, fellas. Already licked those cookies. Had to test for raisins. Uh. Blur. Do you have my pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so wait. I don't see pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none Oliver than Gulliver. Wow, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one that kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those nasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vacant expression, expression as a yes. Uh, I guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Don't worry, the fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. I got an ace up my wing, you see. Yo, that's a cracked phone screen. Uh, just call for help using my handy dandy, uh, my, uh, oh my gosh! My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines, it's all cracked and busted. It looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Oh, that could take a while. I only got enough nautical puns to last a couple of hours. I'm begging you here. Will you look for my communicator parts? Well, yeah. Oh, thank you. I don't know what a communicator part is, but let's look around the shore. They're probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so uh, let's stay here and uh, see for the boat. I'll, believe, uh, the I'll leave the searching to you, partner. I just... Wow, I don't have much of a choice. Okay, uh, that's great. There goes another thing I can't get. So buried in the sand, five communicator parts. I will take this for starters. And that's another clam. I don't need it. Oh, don't tell me it's not unmarked. It's unmarked. Like, I don't want it to be unmarked. This is a shell. It's a Venus comb. Oh, sweet! Another fossil? Yo, four! Right? Five? Is that a communicator part? That's no, four, yeah, that's four. Okay, so I wanna say there's gonna be five. There's gotta be five. There's another clam for fish bait. Maybe a communicator part is a clam. It is! Oh, cool! Look at this! It is! Okay, so I thought it was a straight a clam and I just looked over it, but... Oop! Here we go. No? Yeah, there we go, number two. Whatever's just kind of spitting out water like a little clam, that's it. Easy. They're kind of hard to see if you're not paying attention. Goodbye, balloon. Okay, that's number three. Wait, dang it, that's a clam. Ah. <laughs> no, my shovel. Tell me I have another one. I don't have another one. <sighs> I hate flimsy shovels. All right, Gulliver, don't go anywhere. I'm coming right back, guy. I'm done with flimsy stuff. I just want, like, the good stuff. Okay, so we got three out of five communicator parts. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, don't talk to me. I don't have time for this now. I gotta do Gulliver.
Hello there. Your home is much roomier, yes? It's nice to have even a little extra space. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel. That's 198. Okay, thank you. It's been ever so nice doing business with you. I'm just here to, like, to make some stuff. I just need to shovel my guy. All right, shovel, sho oh my gosh, I can't even do it because what, I need five hardwoods? I don't have any hardwoods, all right. Let's go get five hardwoods really quick, make myself a shovel, and then we're gonna keep going. This is kind of the annoying part. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it is a little annoying that you're like, okay, shovel just broke. Oh man, I'm in the middle of something, like, come on. That's one hardwood. Hardwood's the black one. Whoa, big swing and a miss, one. Two, three, nada. Pick it up anyway, because I don't want to litter. One, two, three. Okay, that's that's four hardwood. One, two, that's five, six hardwood, at least. We're halfway to my house, so I might as well just do it here. And there's that golden spot. Don't, don't let me forget. Ooh. Okay, we're crafting. Let's craft. All right, so let's craft a shovel with six hard wood. Here we go, flimsy. Okay, flimsy shovel, done. Okay, and since we're here and I can do the flimsy shovel, I can take a look on the, uh, on the beach over here, right? Oh yeah, remember, we got some separation beach going on over here. Take a peek around, see any little squirties. Huh, I don't see anything. Might be blind. I should be picking up all these seashells too. I mean, it's easy money to just sell. Why am I walking past it? It doesn't make sense. Hey! Oop. Got it, number four, right? I shouldn't be walking past these. They're like, it's like a hundred bells a pop. I might as well do it. And they'll stack too if it's the same shell. Oh my gosh, really? There we go, five communicator parts. All right, I'm coming. Gulliver! What? Where are the communi- Oh, dang it, it is number four. You guys are good at counting. I'm not. I just want to be done with it. Let's move on. One more communicator part. I gotta go all the way up there? Really? Where in the world is it? I honestly could have sworn I, I looked at my entire beaches out here. Okay, well, I may have missed one somewhere. <laughs> Yo, hello, Jovial Vortex, hello. Keep an eye out. It's just so faint. Oh, you. Hi. I'm in the middle of something. Like, can it wait? Reactions. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna... Okay, reactions. Thank you. I can use reactions now. Hey, that's great. Thank you. 
great. What? Where is it? I don't know, man. All right, I will find it though. Let me let me just do this. Thank you. It's so bad. I was looking by the airline dock, man. I was look. I didn't see anything. You guys crazy? And then I could have sworn I looked all over here. Yeah, it's over by the dock, by the airport dock. Yup, that's exactly it. Good job. All of you guys saying that. Good work. <clears throat> right by the airport dock. Hey, did you find him? Uh, I got him right here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. <laughs> All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. Oh my gosh, see, that's actually clever. So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now, Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to be sending something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Ah, I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. Okay, well, that's Gulliver. That's interesting. And then with Gulliver, we did get, like, a new interaction with him. Okay, so I'm going to claim my fruit roots. Oh, there we go. Tropically grown coconut. Awesome. And then we got Dream House. Cool. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I got a lot of miles. We got to spend some of these. Reaction ruler. So I got, I got a new reaction, which is cool. And then we're going to get Faint of Heart, which is this. Oh, where I died because a uh, tarantula bit me. Yeah, there was a tarantula, Jess, and it was really scary. And I screamed. When you come to the... Yep, there we go. So every time you meet Gulliver, you're going to get some Nook Miles. So there's a little thing there for Gulliver's things. All right, interesting. Okay, so now I got a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need in my pocket. So let's do this. Flimsy net, message in a bottle. Jovial Vortex, hey, thank you so much again. Thanks for the super chat. A shell bed. And we do have some fossils. So remember, we found four buried fossils today, which is really cool. I'm, I'm just honestly curious, like, where's the fifth one? It has to be in groups of five, you would think, right? I can't seem to find it. Oh, oh what is that? No, it's nothing? My eyes deceive me. All right, anyway. Yahoo! All right, here we go. So there's a couple things that I do want to do. I want to come out here. There's another present all the way up there, man. I got to find this. I got to find the slingshot. All right, and this guy's on the phone. What are you doing? Of course, don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include the lovely furnished home. All right, not at all. We'll set up your move-in date at a later time. No, no, no trouble at all. I just need to draw the, po the proper contracts. Understood. We'll get back to you very soon. Thank you. Abdallah, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call you I just got. For some time now, I've been uh, advertising the A-Nation getaway package. And wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wonderful, except one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings, it's just too much for one raccoon. 
I don't have money for you, guy. I don't have money for them. I got money for my house. But Abdallah, here you are, in my hour of need, it most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I'll have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Should we help him? Yes or no in the comments. I don't think so, Tom Nook. I'm, I'm here to pay off one mortgage, not four mortgages. Get out of here. Take a hike, man. I'm going to kick you off this island. Oh, as if I have a choice. Thank you. There was no option for no, by the way. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. We use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is fun. That's not fun to me. Where are your little children? All right, well. We're going to hold a ceremony. You want to take part in the ceremony? Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'll celebrate the completion of Nook's Cranny. Let's go. Dang, yo, he hoodwinked me into paying four mortgages now. I I got four mortgages. This is ridiculous. Now then, here's Nook's Cranny. Welcome to our dedication uh, ceremony honoring A Nation's brand new Nook's Cranny. Yay. Thank you, A Nation. Truly started out as a, des a deserted island. Uh, there simply wasn't much here. But now, it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts above, well, everyone here. I'd like, to, I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words as representatives of the Nook's Cranny. Timmy? Tommy? If you would, please. Thank you, A-Nation. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make it the best shop, and I hope we can count on your business. Oh, look at those faces. Cute. Yes, yes, thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions towards seeing Nook's Cranny built. Of course, I mean Abdallah, our resident representative. Anything to add? Uh, you guys want to do another woo in the comments? Yo, let's see it. Big woo in the comments. Yeah, look at that face. Woo! Indeed, thanks for your heartfelt sentiments there, Abdallah. Everyone, please get ready to join me and bring the ceremony to a close. Uh, those wishing to take a commemorative photo, screenshot it. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Oh, man, imagine if you get their eyes open. You have to have split reflexes, man. Thank you all. This concludes the ceremony. Do take care on your way home. So I have to go over to Nook's Cranny in order to sell my stuff now. The kids aren't in this little area, which is interesting. I'm going to talk to you. Hey, uh, you good? Yeah, dude. What's up? What is that? What's that above there? What is it? I don't care about you. Hold on, hold on. I see something. What could it be? What could it be? I think I may have it already. It's a stink bug. Tiger beetle. I got it. But I do I have stuff in my pockets? Oh, yeah. I got to go sell some stuff. All right. So before we go to Nook's Cranny. Actually, here. Just going to evacuate. I'll pick these up later. Don't worry. And then I need... Oh, there's that glowing spot. I know you guys wanted to hear it for science. You guys want to see it for science. I know you do. $50,000. A money tree for $15,000. You really think so? You think that's going to grow? Do you really think that's going to grow? I'm honestly curious. Rocco, hello. Okay, conch, we got, we got a lot of things. All right, so now we have items that we can just sell. So let's go sell. <laughs> 50,000 money tree, man. I'll get 50,000 a pop. And then we're gonna do a 99 money tree. Oh my gosh, low battery, what? Who plays this game nonstop? Uh, Gengar Shadow 64, what's up? <clears throat> Reset to get citizens with their eyes open. <laughs> they just got stung by bees, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for the super chat. And the chortle. This is a good. Oh my gosh! If it isn't Mabel, Smable. Because I always forget which one's Sable and which one's Mabel. 
I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice, even though we haven't been here that long. In just a short time, Blathers has moved in. We're able to open up this shop. Experiencing new things every day has been a lot of fun. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check in on you all to see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help where we can. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind. Mabel! It is indeed Mabel. Good job. All of you guys said that in the comments. How do I remember Mabel versus Sable? Mabel is the dark blue one. Sable is the slightly freckled one. I need, like, some sort of, like phonetical remembering sable spots. sable spots there we go sable has spots the alliteration of the s's okay courtesy of jess sable has spots her freckles all right something tells me that today's your lucky day as it turns out it's really not that difficult for us to get to the island how about i stop by ever so often and sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers oh wow do you really mean that our residents will be so overjoyed so overjoyed of course, you can sell your goods here. All right. So with that settled, I'll head home and work out the details with your sister. Okay, cool. So they don't have their own shop yet. Hello. Gotta go fast. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, Dala, sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks for your help, we've opened this amazing new shop. Our shop is named in honor of a shop our beloved President Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can be made as DIY projects. Also, the back cabinet with tools and goods, wallpaper and flooring. Okay, so look, look, we need these DIY things. I don't need a plant, I don't need a, a boom box, I don't need a tea kettle, I don't need a clothesline. I need these recipes. One for a slingshot, I presume. Oh. What's that? Past what? No, I don't need to buy it. I want the recipe so I can make it. DIY for beginners. Test your DIY skills. Slingshot recipe. See, that's what I was looking for. Right. It's kind of like the whole saying about uh, teaching a man to fish, right? Anyway, I'll buy it. So this is how you get the slingshot in the game, ladies and gents. Slingshot recipe. I have it. Uh, flimsy watering can recipe. I think I have that. Flimsy shovel recipe. Flimsy axe recipe. DIY for beginners. Test your DIY skills. I'll buy it. I don't know what these are, but let's just do it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, I, I'm running out of space in my... Oh, never mind. Send the recipes from test your skills to your phone. So it's like a digital download. Here we go. Can you customize your phone case? I wonder. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, you can customize your socks, your pants, your shoes, even hats. Why can't you customize your phone case? I don't know. We'll see. All right, DIY for beginners. It's only 500 bucks. Let's go. 480. Let's go. Oh, dang. You guys are all saying you can customize your phone case. What? I've never heard that before. It's something brand new to me. I don't want some nasty green phone case. Yuck. All right, anything else look interesting? So we got brown wrapping paper, we got a sapling. I don't need tulips at all. I don't need those. I don't need a party popper. A slingshot, a flimsy axe, a toad parasol. Whoa, that's actually from toad. Medicine, shovel, watering can, net, fishing rod. Uh, the trailers show different cases. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I wasn't really eyeballing that. Um, anyway, and you could buy a cherry for 400 so in case you guys come over to my town and I say don't touch the trees you got to come over here to the shop and then buy the cherries for 400 a pop I mean I'll tell you guys I'll give you guys all the cherries you want man I'm just tired of looking at them all right anyway so we got some nook miles let's take a look um, yeah and I want to go craft that slingshot really quick hopefully first time buyer what's that oh no not yet all right here we go First time buyer, nice. And then we're gonna do, that's it. Okay, so first time buyer and let's talk to you and let's see what we got. So there's something right. With our new shop come three new services. First, let's talk turnips. Oh, I wanna talk turnips all day. All right, you'll probably see a turnip seller soon. 
We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon. Hold on. So there's a morning turnip time and an afternoon turnip time. Wow, that's double the chances of making it big. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays. That's the day the turnip seller visits the island. The second new service involves a hot item of the day. Hot item will change every day. If you bring one in to sell, we'll give you double its normal price. You can check the hot item of the day on the sign in front of the shop or by asking us. And the last new service is the drop-off box. We find it outside. Uh, you can drop off any items you want to sell. So you don't have to talk to them. You can just drop it in the box. We'll pay you later by sending your funds directly to your bank account. And I should mention a few things. There's a handling fee. We don't accept turnips. And hot items will sell for their regular price. And I think that wraps it. What is this a handling fee? Come on, these little kids, I guess. So what's hot today? It's a birdhouse. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. A birdhouse is a hot item. Check this, check this. I've got a recipe for a birdhouse, and since a birdhouse is a hot item, I might as well go make a couple birdhouses and see exactly how much they actually fetch for. Does that sound like a good idea? All right, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna sell all this random junk in my pockets. 4,000, yeah, that's really good. That's almost 5K bells for that stuff. And that's just from picking up seashells on the ground. So let me go back home. I'm gonna read my, um, I'm gonna read my new manual on how to make a slingshot. I'm gonna, oh my gosh, there's so many things I gotta do. It's just like happening right now. Learn it. Uh, okay, sweet. I learned the DIY recipe for the slingshot. No more presents are gonna run away from me. I guarantee it. All right, here we go. So now, those are the four fossils that I found. Here's my workbench. Give me a flimsy slingshot. I don't even care. All right, where is it? Where is it? Too many things. I'm gonna sort by, here we go, tools. Slingshot, done. It is hardwood. Oof, I do not always have a lot of hardwood. But I also do need, what else was I gonna, a birdhouse, how much is this? It's made out of wood and softwood. So wood, softwood, and hardwood is kind of what we're looking for. So allow me to take a look and see what I have inside storage. I'll grab all my different variants of wood. We should be able to craft a birdhouse and a slingshot in a couple of seconds. So here we go. I'm gonna move to pockets. We're gonna move this to pockets. That's hardwood, softwood, and regular wood. We got a lot. So I'm just gonna go do some chopping and the chopping should allow us some even more wood. So we're good. All right, all right. So here we go. This is a, I got 60,000, we're good, man. But I kinda wanna bury, I kinda wanna bury 50,000 of it. Poof, gone. Do I have another ax? Oh, it's frustrating, man. Yo, I'm in this like zone. I'm in the zone to make these things happen, but then like now I get a speed bump and I just gotta make another ax. And odds are I don't have the stuff on hand for an ax, which is tree branches and a stone. So lame. <laughs> tree branches and a stone. All right, I'm gonna take these 19 and I'm gonna take this 15 stone. It's like I need to just always have one dedicated row at the bottom of my inventory. That's all the different types of wood, stone, and branches. That's it. I just have to take five spaces permanently inside my pockets. It's unfortunate. I'll make another axe in case it breaks. No, I won't. All right, here we go. Nope. Hello, cherries. Hey, there's that little bug. I don't know if that bug sells for a lot, but I don't, I guess maybe it does, right? Maybe it does. Uh, how about we do this? Turn wheel, turn wheel. Flimsy net, down, shake. There it is. You're kidding. Oh, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're kidding me. Give me this bag worm. Um, anyway, so we're here to try to get uh, wood. That's all I need right now.
And sometimes with all these speed bumps, I'm just like, I lose track of what I was in the middle of doing. There's just so much that you do in the game that it's almost overwhelming. I know, I know. I just need some dark wood. There we go. Three of them, beautifully done. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the crafting elements in the game? Is it fun? Or is it just really tedious and unnecessary? I don't know. You guys kind of know how I feel about it. Like, I'm all, like, I got this momentum. Like, I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I'm ready to go. Let's go do this. Oh, wait. Momentum completely comes to a halt because my stuff just broke on me. I don't know, man. I don't know. And see, right now, it's like, I'm collecting all this wood. Maybe I should just go get, like, the durable stuff. Maybe I should go get the recipe for the durable Oh no, I needed that. That's my print. That's my face. <laughs> All right, anyway, so with Nook Miles, I think I can get the recipes for durable, um, durable axes and whatnot. Maybe if I hold on to those, then it's just like few and far between when that happens. Anyway, Nook stop. Where are we at? Yeah, we got some time. Two days in a row. Oh, dang. So yeah, make sure you log into this thing every day. 8,000. Here we go. Pretty good tools, recipes. That's what I needed. 3,000 miles for it. Absolutely. Order has been processed. Please place your Nook phone near the terminal. NFC communication. Alright. I can make stronger tools that won't break so easily. It's going to be a material gathering game changer. Okay. Let's see. What else do you guys have? I got 5,000. Anything good? Stylish hair colors, don't care about that. Miles ticket, not worth it. Bandana and none of this nonsense. No thank you. We'll be here when you need us. And then I want to see Nook Shopping. Nook Shopping is with bells. Uh, planters? Oh, that's kind of cool. Doctors? Oh, I mean, very... Very hip with the times, am I right? Wow. Kick a marathon. Dun, 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 oh, dang. I want to try to collect all the music, but we'll see. No, don't worry. We're good. Okay, so what was I in the middle of doing? I don't know. I was going to make some birdhouses, right? Okay, Tom Nook's workbench. Make a birdhouse. I'm going to I'm going to craft one of them. It's for two and five, so if I'm already out here chopping up a whole bunch of wood, maybe this birdhouse um, could be worth it. So let's see. Let's see tools. I want the good tools. What's the what's the good? I want to sort by order of obtained. Sort by series. There we go. Uh, so now I can do a regular axe, uh, a regular fishing rod, a regular net. What do I need for these? This one's a regular axe. I need a flimsy axe and I need an iron nugget. I need iron nuggets for these. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. I just need a whole bunch of iron nuggets. And this one's a watering can. I think I may already know it's a flimsy watering can. Okay, so here's the funny thing about that, right? The funny thing about that is that you can use the flimsy stuff up until the point where it's about to break. And then you could fodder it off for the new recipe. How crazy is that, right? But how do you know how many swings an axe takes, right? So I just need some iron stuff. So, and I know I've been like stockpiling a whole bunch of iron from breaking all the rocks every day. So it's just only natural that I have so much of it. The regular ones will break, yes. Uh, for those of you guys asking. It's just called more durable, which does not mean that they're impervious to breaking everything, which is, kind of what that is anyway so here we go uh i'm gonna Ooh, no, i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna do this all right so now uh, i should craft some things we're gonna craft so i'm gonna do pretty much everything i'm gonna do i'm gonna sort it by series so this is an axe which is craftable it's the regular axe and you need to have the flimsy axe in your current possession so now we made an axe, which is great. 
I want the golden axe so I don't have to worry about this, right? All right, so we're crafting a regular shovel. Flimsy is no more. Uh, let's do a better bug net. Oh, better, yeah, fishing rod. And look, I've got a... Dude, I have one piece of gold nugget. Imagine if I had the DIY recipe for a golden shovel. Oh my gosh, it would be a game changer. Dang. Imagine that. Alright, and then we're gonna do uh, the slingshot. That was one of our first reasons of coming all the way over here, was to get the slingshot. Okay, super cool. Done. Keep crafting. Uh, I want the regular watering can. I'm gonna sacrifice the one that I currently have in my inventory. And now I got this one. Okay, so now all of my things are done. I, uh, hold on, hold on. There, was there like a stone axe? Hold on, there's a flimsy axe and a stone axe. I don't, I don't know what the difference is. Let me see. A new stone axe. Oh, a stone axe looks like trash. Why would I want that when I got this one that looks like an actual axe? A flimsy axe, which is like... <laughs> no, forget that. Alright, no, we're good. We're absolutely good. And then uh, I crafted a bird's... Uh, what was that? A bird's thing? Yeah, no, we're looking good. We're looking really good. Okay. Okay. 60,000. I, I was gonna go see how much the bird houses sell for. That was one of the things, too. Alright, so let's take a look. We have all regular tools, man. We're moving up in the game. We're absolutely moving up. This is great. Okay, Nook's Cranny. Remember, the concept of a hot item is something that is changes once a day, and you're going to be able to um, sell it for double the money. So I really want to see what exactly the hot item is here and how much it sells for. So I'm going to sell this birdhouse. Confirm. A birdhouse. I'll give twice the usual amount. So That's nothing. That's absolutely not. I was thinking like 5k. No. I was thinking, okay, here we go. So you go out there, you chop the trees down, you use all your materials, you make massive amounts of birdhouses, and then you sell them all. But no, it's not... That's not conducive at all. I mean, unless you get lucky and there's something really easy to craft that, that flips for a lot of money. Your best bet is money rock, dude. That's it. Okay, was there anything else you guys wanted to do on this live stream? Talk to me in the comments. I think we've kind of done everything for the day. I, I don't rest really necessarily need any of these weeds. I don't need the cherries. What do you guys, what would you guys want to do? There's 2,600 of you guys watching. Um, I'm gonna go put up a new video, which is my tutorial on how to make thousands of bells. What do we want to do? We got that gold spot too, guys. Remember. The, um, the gold spot. Oh, we could donate the fossils. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, so I did not donate fossils, so I can go do that. I've already been to the new island. No, that's boring. The mystery getaway package, like, new island thing is, is boring. I mean, maybe I got a new fish out of it, but... Alright. 50k in the hole? Ooh. You guys are really gonna make me do that, aren't you? 50k in the hole. For science, right? Okay, here we go. We're gonna do it for science. And I am gonna water the heck out of that thing. You better believe it. Alright, so while you guys were deciding, I cleaned up all those weeds over there. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm I'm gonna go put 50k in the hole. And I'm going to be 50k in the hole. 50k is like one fourth. That's one fourth of my entire loan amount, man. I'm like almost done with the second loan, dude. We're like there. Okay, anyway, anyway. Where are you getting the idea of wasted money, right? Was that what it was, what it used to be in the old Animal Crossing? Where you can only put 10k in? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And just because something happened in the previous game does not mean... Does not mean it's the same thing in this game.
The money tree. 50k bells inside there. I'll lose I'll lose 40. Look. For science, I don't mind losing 40k. 40k is what? Two days worth of stuff? Yo, we got a T-Rex torso. Alrighty. I don't know, man. It's for science. Too early to tell. Money tree. What's the deal with the money tree? <laughs> you're really... You're really gonna do it. For science. I kind of want to see for myself. Look, I get that some of you guys have been looking into some other things that are in there, out there in the world, like as far as information, but I kind of want to see it for myself. Um, I want to be the guy that throws in the 50k and says, look, 100% can confirm I've done it before and I got ripped off 40k bells. 40k bells is nothing. It's two days of soft resetting. Like, it's nothing. It's chump change for me. Um, so we're going to do it for science. We're going to do it for science. Here we go. 50k. <gasps> 62k. <sighs> maybe you can't. Uh, maybe you can't because I thought it was, I thought it was a tiered amount. So maybe that is the case. Maybe that's the case. And that's lame if that's the case. Because I thought it was like, okay, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 50,000, and 99k bell bags. But that doesn't seem to be the case now. So I guess 10k bells it is. Adios. Lame. Bury in a hole. Womp womp. Oh well. Yeah, that kind of just proves my theory, man. All right, not a big deal. Where's my watering can? Whoa! Oh, I see! I see! Okay, okay. So, since it's the good watering can, it waters in an entire, like, almost a 360 around you. Oh, that's great! And then those things can maybe breed together. Who knows? Okay, so we donated the fossils. We uh, threw the bell bags in there. We opened up the nook shop. Um, I guess the question is, how am I going to expand the nook shop? That's really the question uh, that is going to be at play here. No, I'm not placing. No, that's way too big. Sorry. I'm not about to do that. <laughs> Stego torso. We're going to put that in storage. We're going to put this in storage. And then I don't feel like I need any of the wood. And I don't feel I need any of that stuff. Okay. So you guys got anything else that you guys want me to do? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we are going to end the stream and call it a day. There's a couple things that I need to sell. This axe can go over here. The shovel can go over here. The slingshot. These are all my tools. And then this... You can just chill right there. All right. Uh, start the new houses? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can do that for a little bit. I'm only going to do it for a little bit. We're going to go talk to Nook and see what he wanted exactly with those new houses, right? Okay, that was a good idea. That was kind of like one of the loose ends that just kind of popped up, and you're like, yo, I don't want to do this, Nook. You're forcing me. You're forcing my hand. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Nookington! Ah, hello, hello. Would you like to talk to me? Oh, what should I do? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Oh, so you're already ready to help me prepare. Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start by building a bridge across the river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space in the land that's easily accessible. A bridge will open things up and make it easier for housing plots during construction. So that's why I'd like you to start crafting the parts for a bridge. Get your DIY skills ready. And you want to decide on a prime location. I know exactly where. Oh, this is good. I'm down. I was looking for bridges. Okay, sent you a recipe for bridge construction kit. Okay, let's build a bridge. Once you've assembled your bridge, uh, you'll find a good spot and then check in with me. Tricky to place a bridge. We can talk if you need advice. Good luck. Okay, yo, we need a bridge to, like, the nook place. The nook's cranny. 
All right, let's take a look. So we're going to scroll over. Uh, housewares, miscellaneous, uh, wall-mounted, accessories, other. Oh, here's the bridge. And here's the ocarina some of you guys wanted for some reason. Why? Because it's like Saria's ocarina. Anyway, here's the bridge construction kit. You need four log stakes, four clay, four stone. Log stakes? I think I have that. I have one in my lawn. This is log stakes. I just need regular wood. Three, six, nine. Nine pieces of regular wood. Let's go. I'm building this bridge, man. I don't even care. Let's go. I think I got some wood. There's one stakes. Maybe at the end we'll play the ocarina. I don't know. We'll see. All right, what do we want? I'm sorry, woods and stones? Okay, I'm just gonna give this 14 stone. I'm gonna go, was it just regular wood? Oh, we got plenty of regular wood. And then it was just stone. Oh my gosh, I already forgot. It is clearly nine wood. Thank you. Gotta pay attention. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're good. Remember, because I already have a log stakes. Oh, I can press the A button to craft faster? What? Hold on. Is that right? Watch this. I, I wonder if I hold the A button. No, you have to spam the A button to make it go way quicker. Cool. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we do have the four stakes. Uh, thank you for uh, that. And then I have one, two, three, and then that fourth one, which I already owned. And we're all set. The clay, the clay, the clay. I forgot. I thought it was stones. It is not stones, but it is clay. And you guys may be wondering, where do you get clay? Now, you get clay from hitting the rocks. And you hit the rocks, and sometimes clay comes out. I've been hoarding a lot of clay for some reason. It looks like a 26 of them. Clay, 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 clay. I'm curious of what the new update gave. Some of you guys are saying in the comments that there's an update of the game that, you know, fixed a couple things, like a day one update. Uh, you know, I'm actually glad that they did that. I'm glad that they actually listened to the feedback that, like, the reviewers maybe gave. I don't know. Maybe people in the treehouse are like, yeah, this kind of makes sense. So, anyway. Okay, here we go. We are gonna craft. I need this bench looking thing. It's called a bridge. Okay, bridge construction kit. I'm done for now. I'll craft the ocarina in the next episode. Wee! Okay, this is where exactly I need it. Right straight shot. No, absolutely not. That's a little crooked. Right here. Yeah, beautiful. Oh my gosh, absolutely. This is the spot. Oh, dang, and the construction. They put the little things there, so tomorrow it's going to be there. Let the land connect. All right, so that'll be great. Something to look forward to tomorrow. I've got that 10K money tree that I have. So always just 10K in, in the glowing spots and you'll, you'll be fine. You make tens of thousands of bells. Oh, hello. So did you find a good place? I did. It's ready to go. Thanks, guy. Okay, new bridge up and going. That's out of the way. Time to start on some homes. Wait for the bridge construction. Or you can ask me what should I do. All right. I'll mess around with that next time. We'll ask him what we should do, and then we'll take a look at the plots of land for the homes for all of that stuff. So, yeah, I think we're good, unless there's uh, some stuff I could take in here. Can't really. There's really nothing for me to do in this day anymore, and we literally played through two days worth of content in the game, so I hope you guys have been enjoying it. All right, so that's going to be it for today's live stream, but would you guys like to see me do one more live stream today? I'm down if you guys want to see it. There's like 2,300 of you guys watching, which is awesome, and I love your support. So I will gladly do another live stream if you guys want it. If not, we'll just wait until tomorrow morning when everyone has the game. So you guys tell me, would you guys like another one? Give me a thumbs up. Smash the like button if you guys would like one. 
um, because I, I got a couple tips and tricks tutorial videos that I want to make in the meantime. I got my, my bell grinding money guide tutorial video that I'm going to put up. And uh, yeah, we should be all set and ready to go. But a lot of you guys are saying yes. So this is good. This is good news. So hit the like button. Uh, let's see if we can get to at least what? Oh, dang. We're at 790 likes. Oh, you guys are insane. You guys spoil me. Yo, let's get to 1,000. <laughs> let's get to 1,000. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what episode one did. I'm just not even paying attention to that. But your support has truly been really awesome. So thank you so much for that. We found Gulliver. We opened up the new shop. There's a lot of, of things happening. So I'm just more curious of how to expand their new Nookingtons. Uh, to make it into the big old one. So I'm going to pick up the, all these weeds and then we're just going to call it a day. So thanks so much for coming. All right. So hands up in the comments if you guys have already subscribed, which I believe you guys have. Um, if you guys haven't, it's absolutely free. There's a big red button. Click on that and you guys should be ready to go. So anyway, I'm going to go save. 96 weeds picked up. That's a good day. <laughs> save and end. All right. Whoo, man. Okay. So I've got this uh, this money tutorial video that I'm going to put out literally in the next half an hour. And then give me a little bit. I'm going to go eat some dinner. I'll set up the next live stream and then we'll see exactly what we can get. But no, it's going to be fun. I don't really know what's going to happen. Like what happens next? Like we're doing everything kind of really quickly. I can totally grind out days and days worth of making all these bells, but we'll see. And then like I, I want to see how these little little baby trees go, right? Those are my little my little children. And I want to see if the money tree grows back. Oh, there's so many things I got to do. And we got to pay off the next loan too. There's so many things. Okay. I want all of you guys on board. Okay. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, and you guys will be ready to go for the next episode. It's going to be so great. So all that stuff is going to be there. All of you guys that came on board as brand new members, thank you so much. Uh, when the game is fully launched globally, which is going to be tomorrow, we'll invite some members into town. And you guys can bring your packs of 10 fruits, and then I will give you guys packs of 10 cherries. You guys can all take cherries to your homes. It'll be really fun. So, looking forward to seeing you guys on the next live stream. Give me uh, an hour or so, maybe about two hours, and uh, we'll absolutely play. It'll be so much fun. I'd love to have you guys on board for the long run. So thanks so much for being here. I love all of you guys in the comments. You guys are amazing. Um, truly, I can't express that enough, how much support you guys are giving to this series. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep on going strong. So thanks for being here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Um, again, money tutorial happening right now. There's going to be a playlist link in the description for tips and tricks videos. Make sure you guys are uh, up to date with all that. Have a great rest of your day. Catch you later.